This is so hard. Hi, I'm Nitty. Recently, I made a YouTube community post asking you guys for video ideas. The twist is, I would pick the top comment and turn that into a full video. The top comment was, make a drop that smoothly changes the genre every two bars. So that's gonna be very interesting. The project file of the drop we're about to make is already available for download, along with an uncut version of this video, and a breakdown of how I made this drop. If you're interested in bettering your production quickly, then check out my Patreon, links in the description. But anyway, let's get to producing. Alright, so we gotta make a drop that changes genre every two bars, so I think what we're gonna do is make it so that for an, an entire 16 bar drop we have eight genres i think that we're cycling through this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one i'm not gonna lie let's uh, see what we got here let's just lay out like a drum loop what we can do is we can go from like let's say future rhythm to rhythm and then from like another like we can go melodic then heavy then melodic then heavy so that we that way we have a pattern Let's try that. Let's just start making like some quarter note pattern or something. Oh no, let's do F minor. We gotta also define the genres because like they have to be distinctly different because if it's the difference between something like rhythm and trench, like that's, you can kind of put that under the same umbrella term, right? Because those, those are like literally the same, it's a renamed genre so that I don't think that would be completely fair. Okay, and then let's get like a like a melody that we can use just like across all the genres. Also, maybe let's make this um like on beat because if we make it off beat, it's going to be really hard to branch into other genres. This is lacking a bit of punch. Ooh. <laughs> and then this is the cheekiest switch up ever right here. Now we gotta um we gotta add the, the, the same exact rhythm, um, but instead of with it being beautiful and sparkly and, and inspiring, we have to make it like square four or something. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, and then. Oh wait, wait, wait. We can we can do an artificial square four here, right? We can do we can mono this now. That's square four right there. That's that's square four. That's how you make square four, guys. That's I love that. Um, that we just did that, and then. Maybe what would be smart is if we like, we like built up to it. So we, we kind of just like, we, we filter it in. It's kind of inaudible. It's kind of hard to like, to like thicken this up, like because of the filter. Like. Oh wait, oh. Oh, that's way better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Very, very cool. Do one of these. Yes, that's sounding great. Here's the thing we gotta brainstorm now is what do we do after this? I've got an idea, I've got an idea. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate this so we have the same synth, but we're gonna change the drums and this is gonna change the, this is gonna change the whole genre. We need to get a snare. Okay, so basically the idea is we gotta make future bass here and then hybrid trap here. This needs to be more, um, more, uh, out of pan. Okay, not bad, not bad. <laughs> it's a little bit of a rough transition, can't lie, but... Okay, it sounds, it sounds like future bass now, though, so that's, that's the goal, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and an extra layer for the elite as well. All we need is just a little bit of transition work. Like instead of this snare, uh, the click kick clap right there, we do this. Oh, we gotta make the, just like the, the cheekiest, like I wanna make kind of a sustain bass right here. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. I think we just need layers. Yeah, like that. And then, um... Something is... I mean, I was gonna say something is clipping, but, you know, then you look at the audio meter right here. I wonder what's clipping. Let's just, uh, revisit it later. So, we can- Oh, maybe we could do, like, Speed House. We gotta duplicate this again. Remove the auto pans. Yeah, and then we need like a like an offbeat hi hat. So let's go get that. Yes, that one. We can like do the same thing that we did with the other drops, where we like introduce different drums like in the other drop, so the transitions nicely. So. Okay. Like this. And then make the clap a little bit louder. Let's see, and then let's let's just um let's just mute this and do a little zap thing and we'll just copy that from the rhythm drop right here. Okay, and then speed house, so we'll, we'll put we'll stay with the same tempo. Maybe we could do speed here, speed bass. House. This is definitely a real genre that I did not just make up. I gotta EQ this. This is this has a little bit of low end information that, we, that I that I do not desire. Maybe a tape stop here would be appropriate. Oh, I see it. I see a bit of an opportunity here for um, some UK garage, maybe. Or are we at sixteen bars yet? This is this this is sixteen bars right here. UKG that right there. Maybe we could do like a like a growly high pass like like a wad up wad up wad. We'll just copy the uh this little midi right here, and then wad up wad like. Yeah, like that. Um, just OTT this. Now the trick is to maybe maybe fat rack. Do one of these. Just keep EQing this a little bit. Um, yeah, this needs a bit more though. It's like, it's like, this is not enough to like make it, make a whole drop sound like interesting. Like, maybe we can make like a little bass line out of it. Yeah. High end stereo chorus rack time. We're getting there. It's little by little, we're getting there. This is like reaching the low end, low, low end, and it's kind of really like distorting the crap out of it, and I don't like that. But it's like, maybe I could just decrease the uh, resonance right here. Maybe just like reducing some elements would help because like right now we have these like really intense rides right here. Like, maybe just add this for like the high end fizz on the, the snare. Just make this like super tight like. Yeah, it kind of works. And then just like. Yeah, yeah, that kind of works. Maybe, um, maybe some FM stuff, actually. Oh, wait, that's really cool, actually. Ooh. Maybe just, like, a little bit of ambience now would be kind of sick. Something like this, and then, like... Or, hold on, let me actually get it in key. We're in F minor, I think. Yeah, like that. And then, um, auto pan. Do this. Uh, inverts and then put that on quarter notes. Yeah, this is kind of cool. That's actually that's cooler too. I don't know. I don't know which one I like more to be honest. But it's like uh, I don't know. Like this is too aggressive and then this is too like. I don't know how I feel about this. Like. Like, it feels like something is missing, right? 
All right, that'll that'll do. It's it's really weird. I <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. This is so hard. Like, I mean, we could go, we could probably do this and just, just duplicate this. Now we can get some like UK garage drums. Just like see what happens. Like something like this. And then a clap from over here as well. Maybe something like this. And then get that out of this uh, group. I'm just like grasping at straws with like genres at this point, so I'm just like looking for anything that would work. Maybe like. Okay, and then let me uh, actually make the sidechain correct. All right, there's no sidechain at all, okay. Yeah, let me get rid of the reverb tail as well on this. Oh yeah, I like that little reverb on that end there on that specific hit. Let's keep that. Oh, I kind of want to do like um operator. I don't know why I duplicated this. I, I could probably do like an operator like FM donk like this. That. And then just like, just like do some. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. That sounds pretty swag. Oh, maybe what, what would be cool is if we like took a reverb rack and extended it into like this specific part. So it goes like this. A little uh, whoop for the for the like the background. Oh yeah. Okay, so is that it? I think that's yeah, that's it. We just did it. Woo! All right, and just like that, I pretty much think we're done. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the full track. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is unbelievably stupid sounding. <laughs> it was fine until this like a hybrid trap switch up right here. I added the house drums in way too early, so it just like didn't even get to be a hybrid trap for like the majority of the drop. The project file along with a breakdown video and an uncut version of this video are already up on my Patreon, a link's in the description. Let me know if you liked it with a comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.